So, a coworker hands you this. This raw data is in Microsoft Excel, which is great, but this plain, simple data. And they say to you, I want you to create a report. Something presentable so that we can look at customers and we can look at their orders. I got customer information there and I got order information. And right now it's just simple, simple data. I want to be able to analyze it. I want to be able to see things like how many orders have they placed? What's been the amount of their orders? What is a specific customer's orders? I just want to see a specific customer's orders. Not every order, just a specific customer's order. Well, how do we do that? Well, once again, we're going to talk about analyzing the data, but then we'll talk about presenting it, creating an interactive dashboard and using that as your report. Take a look. So I've got a third tab here called Customer Dashboard. Voila. I've got a simple interactive dashboard that any user can come into and look up specific information about a customer and their orders. Take a look. Now there's a lot going on in here. We're going to talk about all of this. We're going to break it down and I'm going to have you rebuild this as you go through the course. I've got a little drop down here. Nice little comment box just letting us know. Select a customer. So I hop up here. Right now I'm looking at this customer. So I see, I see things like the customer's contact information. Well, where's that coming from? That's coming from the customer info sheet. I've got the order information, specific orders to that customer. I've got some simple calculations here, letting us know, well, for this customer, how many orders have they placed? What's their average freight? What's their last order? And I've got a nice little chart over here on the right showing us graphically some of that information. Now I come in here, I don't, I don't want to see this customer. Come down and say, I want to see around the horn. So I grab that customer and my dashboard updates. One change by me or by the user getting into here, and I've now updated the entire dashboard interactive, right, to show me that information. Now I've got Thomas Hardy, who's the contact for around the horn. I've got all the orders for that customer around the horn, their calculations, their chart, and so on. Come in here and I can pick any customer and I'll update the dashboard for that customer. Now, once again, there's a lot going on in here. We got some VLOOKUPs to help us do some lookup information. We got some subtotal functions over here. We got uh, some filtering going on. We got a pivot chart, which is connected to a pivot table. There's some stuff that's going on in the background. And once again, we'll break it down. I'm gonna walk you step-by-step step through each concept, and then I'll take you into the project and help you build this right here. Now, to make it really truly interactive, there's a few ways you can do it. And what I've chosen to do here is with just a, a little bit of VBA, Visual Basic for Applications. Now, if you don't know any VBA, no problem. I'm gonna take you step by step, and it's really small, really very small amount of VBA to be able to get this to happen right here. Few lines of code, nothing big. But I'm gonna take you through each of the lines of code, and we'll talk about each of them. Now, if you know VBA, great. I'm probably gonna introduce you to some stuff that you probably know, but you can build upon it. You can make it even more interactive with any knowledge that you have currently of VBA. So great. Whether you're brand new or you've been in there for a little while, you're in the right spot. We're gonna create this interactive dashboard based off of all this raw, ugly data. Get a nice presentation here. Uh, we'll also talk about things like locking the worksheet uh, so users can't change values. All they can do is click on the little drop down and update the data they're looking for. Now, I've also got an add order button here. When I give that button a click, imagine you got a customer on the phone. It's like, hey, so and so, you haven't placed an order since 1998. What's the deal? Let's place an order. They're like, oh, yeah, great. Let's place an order. So I hit the button. This opens up some prompts where I can fill out some information about the order. Enter the required date. Well, when do they want it shipped to them? Let's say they want to ship to them by the 31st of October, 2017. Uh, what's their shipping method? Let's say they're gonna choose number three or Federal Shipping or Speed Express or whatever they're doing. Uh, what's their order amount? They're gonna spend 100 bucks uh, and so on. And now I've got that new order ready for me right here inside the table for this customer, all through a button press. Again, I don't have to worry about going back to the other sheets and managing that. I just want it all right here in this one interface. 
So get ready. We're going to analyze data, clean it up, make it look good, get it ready to create a dashboard, a nice interactive screen for users to go to to interact with customer information and those customers' orders.